In this video, I am going to show how I created an interactive slide that helps me ask and monitor my students' understanding after our lesson is conducted in our online class. I call this as Level of Understanding Interactive Slide. I am going to show you first how this works and later I will demonstrate how I created this. When they click the door, my students will be directed to a page where they can submit an attendance form. This icon, when clicked, will open our previous lesson. Let's say this was our lesson. At the bottom of the slide, I have four boxes. There is a key in the first box. When this is pressed, a lesson reaction form will be loaded. Here, the student can write his details and can choose this option before pressing the submit button. The key in the second box will help the students to review the previous lesson. We can also reinforce the lesson by adding other reference materials that will help them understand the lesson better. The third key will direct the students to the next lesson. Suppose this will be the new lesson. In the fourth box, I have two keys. The first key is similar to the third box. This means it will also allow the students to view the new lesson. The other key in the fourth box will load the lesson reaction form. In this form, they can select the second option, which is, I can help my classmates. Let's begin creating this interactive slide. First, I will go to slides.google.com. I will select the plus symbol to create a new file. I will change the file name to Knowledge Check Template. I will remove the other part so I will have a bigger working space. I will add a rounded rectangle. Change its border color and size. Make it broken border. And change its fill color to light yellow. I will press Ctrl D to duplicate. Adjust its size. Change the fill color to light green. And change the border to a solid one. I will press Ctrl D again to duplicate the shape. Adjust its size and location. Change its fill color to light red. I will press Ctrl D for the last rounded rectangle. Adjust also the size and change its fill color to light blue. I will now add text in the yellow box. Change its size and make its center aligned. Change the color to dark blue. I will go to the green box. Double click to write text. I will write attendance. Change its color to magenta. Adjust its location to center and top. I will add text for the word topic. Change its font and size. Color is red. I will press Ctrl D for the title of the topic. In this example, I will write benefits and issues of IT. Adjust its location and size. Change color to green. I will add another text for the instruction, which is to click to review the lesson. I will change the font to Sue Ellen Francisco. I will press Ctrl D, then move the duplicate text to the blue box. I will give instruction, which is to choose a key in the four boxes. The fourth box has two keys, so I will put a note here. I will add a table. Change its border color to dark blue and width to 8 pixels. 
I will change its fill color to white. I will insert text. For the first box, I will write in the text box, I don't get it. I need help. I will press Ctrl V to duplicate the text. I will change the text to I'm okay, I am beginning to get it. I will press Ctrl V again and move the duplicate text to the third box. I will write I understand it, I want to see the next lesson. I will press Ctrl V again and move the duplicate text to the fourth box. This time I will write I can help my classmates. Now I am going to add Bitmoji. I will use the keyword pose. I will choose this to represent the first box. Double click to crop. Adjust the size to fit the size of the first box. I will add another Bitmoji. I will use the same keyword. I will choose this one. It looks like a thinking bitmoji so it can represent our second box. I will also crop and adjust to the size of the box. I will add another bitmoji. Same keyword which is pose. I like this one. I will adjust also the size and crop the image. Move it to its correct position. For the last box, I will do the same steps. I will choose this one, double click to crop, adjust the size, and move to the fourth box. For the next steps, I will use flat icon. If you don't have it yet, you may watch my previous video tutorial to know how to install flat icon. I will add a link in the description box so you will be guided how to install this Chrome add-on. The first icon I will add is a door. So the keyword is door. I will select one, then click the insert button to be added in my slide. I will adjust it in my slide and move to the box for the attendance. For the next icon, I will use the keyword lesson. I will select this, then click the insert button. I will also resize it and drag to the red box. The next icon keyword is keys. I will choose four. The first one is this. I will resize it and drag to the appropriate box. The next is this one. I will do the same steps. The third is this key. And the fourth is this. For the fourth box, I will have two keys. I will just copy the third key. The next icon keyword is arrow. I will adjust its size too and make it pointing the door. I will press Ctrl D and move the duplicate to the red box. I will right click and rotate it vertically. I will make some adjustments in the text here so I can maximize the space. I will also add border to the title and make it bigger so it will be more emphasized. I will press Ctrl D to duplicate the arrow and move it to the blue box. At this point, I am now ready to put the links to the icons. First is the attendance form. By the way, if you also want to know how I created this attendance form in Google Forms, you may watch this video. The link of this video is in the description box. I will click the send button, then click the chain symbol. I will get shortened link by pressing this checkbox. I will copy the link and will go back to the slides. I will select the door icon, then click the insert link in the toolbar, then paste the link and click the apply button. For the lesson, let's say this is our previous lesson. I will copy its link and paste it to the insert link tool.
for the first P, I created a form in Google Forms where my students can let me know that they don't understand the lesson. I will also copy the link and put it in the insert link tool. For the second key, I will put the link here of the previous lesson or other materials that will help them understand the lesson better. For the third key, suppose this is our new lesson. I will copy the link and paste it in the insert link tool. I will also put the link to the same key in the fourth box. And I will get the link of the lesson reaction form and paste it to the fourth key. To share this to my Google Classroom, I will copy the link in the address bar. I will open my Google Classroom by going to classroom.google.com and selecting my Google Class. In the stream page, I will give the instruction to my students, paste the link, I will remove the part of the link that starts with edit and change it to preview question mark rm equals minimal so that the navigation toolbar at the bottom of the screen will not appear. Now this is what my students will see in their computer screen and they can interact with it. I will also be able to check their level of understanding. Through this, I will know if I can proceed to the next lesson or I still have to make some clarifications or provide more information about the previous lesson. I hope this video gave you an idea on how to create an interactive slide to check the level of students' understanding of the lesson. If this is helpful, please don't forget to like this video. Share this also to your friends. I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel too, and please press the notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Here are some of my other videos. Click any of these videos to start learning about them too. Thank you!